Hi right, guys, we're back at Spash Fishing. We got Sam with us today. Yeah. And we're going out conger and hoss fishing. So stay tuned, we got big baits and big hooks. It's Smash Fishing. Woo! First rig of the day. I've just got a little up and over rig, six ounce weights because we've got a 9.2 meter tide today. And I've got 80 pound trays to two size 60 hooks. And they're nice and strong hooks then because there's a good chance of getting a conger on the further on the further cast. And then down right next to the rocks is where we're going to be fished for the congers. On the up and over all i'm gonna do it's got my mackerel fillet there and i'm gonna cut it straight in half like that and i'll just be putting big long strips of mackerel on so you get two baits out of one mackerel fillet and then the heads are going on the conga rigs So that's the up and over rig guys. You can see it's all clipped down nicely and then you get a long flowing trace once it's clipped off. And what I did is instead of using half a mackerel fillet, I got the whole thing and just folded it with the flesh on the outside to get all the juices going. I just fancied a big bait to be honest and hopefully we get a big fish. <laughs> This is our standard conga rig guys, just a big barrel swivel. This one's got 200 pound line on to an 8.0 mustard hook. And that is as simple as it is. Then we've got a nice fresh mackerel head here. And all I'm gonna do is put the hook straight under the throat latch there and out the top. Beautiful, we get that bonged out and hopefully we can catch Shamu. That's both rods out now guys. This has got the up and over on and it's cast out quite a long way. Then we've got a big conga rig about 20 yards just past the boulders. Got a nice new seat as well. Got I brought myself a seat box. They're brilliant, really comfy. What are you going for Sal? It's tying the up and over on at the minute. I've got oh, a conga nice. rod out now already. Oh beautiful. What are you going for? A big half mackerel? Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> Oh, so, Jeffrey. Is that Jeffrey on the line? Hello, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey is on. There he is. There's old Jeffrey. Flip it. Oh, God. Oh, it's tiny. There you go. First deal of the night, guys. <laughs> it was tapping on the line for a while, this. So I had to just wait for him to take it. Beautiful little conga. Look at the blues on it. Look at that. Hooked perfectly in the side of the jaw as well. So I'll get him unhooked, we'll get you a little show and we'll get him released. Straight off. There we go guys. Lovely little eel there. So there you go guys. Nice little eel, nothing big. 
I don't want to. I don't want to slam him down. He's nice and lively. His, his guts are full of something. I can feel it in there. It could be my mackerel head. There we go. Won't play around with him no more. Nice little show there. Hopefully, we can get one a lot bigger. <laughs> On. Yep. Oh, Jeffrey came back out, eh? Ah, that's bigger <laughs> than Jeffrey, mate. That's Brenda. That's a better one. Not huge, not by any means. But it's still a fish nonetheless. Uh, a little bit bigger. That one just took it and run, that one, eh? That's a little bit better eel, that one. That, guys. Another lovely size eel there. Really good condition these eels as well, eh mate? Yeah, lovely fish. Beautiful. We'll get them unhooked again, guys. We'll get you a better show. If you've got any sort of rebar, guys, and it's hooked in the side of the jaw, all you got to do is get the bend of the hook and just pull your line down. And the hook will just pop straight out and the fish is unhooked nice and easily. That's a feisty one, this one. There we go. Lovely sized little eel there full of dirt it's got a belly full of mackerel right now <laughs> hopefully we can get one five times as big straight back let's go get some more it's a good start to the night two congas down no monsters yet we've been pre-baiting uh, the mackerel fillets you can see the size of the baits that we're using these are for the huss on the up and overs and he, you'll catch anything on this really a bass ray anything that's swimming past but fingers crossed, we can get a nice big conga. That was a good old run, eh? You found your... Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Had some <laughs> weight to it, that one. Unlucky, mate. Yeah. Oh, well. It happens, mate. Yeah. Part of conga fishing, guys. Exactly. Here you been, Sam! Oh, Jeffrey! It's a good one! Jeffrey! That's a good Jeffrey! That's a Jeffrey! Head towards my rods, mate. Don't go near the boulders. That's it. Bully him up, mate. Sam's got a good one by the looks of it, guys. Oh, I think it was in the ground a little bit, but... Nice bend on the rod, mate. Oh, Jeffers. We got the old Jeffrey. I don't know what it is today, guys. We've just to come up with the name Jeffrey for the Congas. Where is it? I can't see it yet. Come on, Sam! Now that slack water's here, they've all come out. That's what we want to see. Oh, that's not a bad one. A flippable though, isn't it? Yeah. Get ready for the big flip. Flip or die. Jeffrey style. <laughs> Hey! Oh, it's a bit smaller than I thought it was. Thought it was than that. About the same size as the last one. There you go, guys. Sam's nice eel there. What a cracker. Beautiful. Really nice, healthy, fat eels, eh? Yeah, lovely, eh? Hopefully, there's a couple of really big ones around. Check that out. Going for the old D hooker. There we go, she's off. Beautiful, mate. Give the folks a little show. Really big head on that one, eh? Yeah. What a cracker, mate. Well done. What a lovely eel. Give a good scrap as well from out there, eh? Yeah, <laughs> it was staying quite close to the ground, like so. Didn't want to come up. No. There we go, one last show. Let me go a bit more to the right. Oh, the rocks. rocks. <laughs> there we go, one show for the folks. There you go, one more Jeffrey. <laughs> and she's gone. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Hell yeah. Let's get another one. This is what happens when the congas start death rolling. You can see it's all plaited up. Sam's going to have fun with his up and over rig now. <laughs> That's the only problem with whips, is they, they do mess up your tackle. Look at the state of that. 
It's good luck, Sam. Thanks, mate. No worries. Sounds getting a few bites in this one, guys. He just sort of arched over and stayed there, eh, mate? Oh, you got him. I got the rocks. Oh, you got the rocks. <laughs> A couple of good nods on it, though, eh? Hopefully, he swims out. So give him a little bit of line. Let him swim his way back out, and then Sam will hook him in the face. Looks like Sam's hooked into something decent here, guys. Some weight there, eh, boss? Come on! I think he was just in the weeds a little bit, but hopefully, it's a bit bigger than the last one. It's not giving much of a, of a scrappy boy, eh? Not anymore. At the start, it was. It's just dead weight, eh? Yeah. Come on, we will soon find out, guys. I've seen a little white thing on the top, then. Is that an eel? Yeah. Oh, Sam. Would have been nice to be a hoss. <laughs> That's a better eel by the looks of it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Sam. Yeah, boy. Oh. That's the biggest one of the night. That's a better reel there, guys. Check that one out. Nice chunky one. Look at that. It's a fatty, eh? Yeah, that's got to be best part of six pounds. Yeah. Nice. Nice big eel. It was raining before as well, so nice to actually get something, eh? <laughs> Beautiful. Well done, mate. Thank you. Biggest deal of the night there, that's for sure. Yeah. That's not a bad one at all. Just turn your head torture off a sec. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guys. Sam with a lovely eel there. Look at the face on that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's well done, mate. So that's a nice little eel, that. Yeah. We were waiting for something a bit bigger, eh? There's all these little whips. Yeah, definitely. One, one little show for the folks. There you go. Lovely, mate. Well done. Cheers, mate. Let's get that released. She's down. Let's go get some more. Hell yeah. That wind's come up. Yeah. I hope. I hope. It's off it's to work we go. That's all for today's episode, guys. Fun little trip out, eh, yeah, mate? Yeah, it was nice to get out, man. Yeah, we just wanted to go and wet the lines a little bit and just catch a few fish. So it's nice to get a few eels. Biggest fish of the day. <laughs> yeah. It's not a bad one at all, yeah, mate. It's all right. Fingers crossed we get that 20 pounder next time. So stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, if you want to check out Sam's Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description. If you want some merch, the link's in the description. It's Smash Fishing. Oh, if you like my channel, like and subscribe. Don't forget that one. Woo!